Good morning, YouTube. It's 1130. I'm at the, I'm at the store. Lenny's getting the meat. He's getting the beef. Oh, he's going to try. We're going to see what good, what's good in there. What's good? What's good? Um, we went to the Goodwill again because it's senior day and we were, man, they were bumping the grind, bumping grind music. It was just crazy. And this place is packed and the storm and rain is pouring to me. People are there. We're there. Everybody's getting to know each other on a first name basis. I'm like, what's up? What's up, everybody? It's a, it's a Goodwill party. I found this dress. It is not dead, drop down, I'm all that, whatever the combination of those sayings and phrases are, gorgeous. And wait till I decide what I'm going to sing in this song. Um, in this song. I'm going to sing it in a song. I'm going to sing the song in this dress. And I'm thinking, I hope I don't bomb whatever I decide to sing. Anyway, I love pretending to be a singer because it, like, let me pretend to be a performer. Like daddy-o. <laughs> Found a man. He was a he was a lounge lizard. He was uh, slithering around in the lounges, singing and playing piano, while he also managed a dive apartment complex and worked for Bethlehem Steel. Like my by lot my adopted parents, but they didn't know each other. I'm like, well, he then he showed me his yearbook. He's like, here's me as a senior. I flipped pages back a few days and showed him a few pages and showed him my adopted mother, and there she is. I didn't know her, dude. There was like 200 kids in the school. You most certainly knew her. She was one of the prettiest girls there. There's no way you didn't know her. And you sold me to her. Okay, I mean, you lived a half a mile from... Can we just drop the charade? I swear these people... No, take it to the grave. They're taking it to the grave. Adopto mom. One of my cousins after I'd found my biological family. I didn't tell my adopted mom I found them. She insisted, my one cousin, she insisted if she called my adopted mom and left her a message, oh, your mother loves you, you don't understand, you, you just had a falling out, a misunderstanding, she'll call me, she'll be so thrilled. She left message after message with my adopted mom saying, we're tracing a cousin that was put up for adoption 51 years ago, we traced it to you, please call me, my name is blah blah, we believe that you adopted, you know, my cousin, my, guess what my adopted mom did? Nothing, exactly like I told her. She would not do anything for me. Can you believe? Can you imagine hating your adopted child so much that 51 years later, after you had, you know, you've been done not no contact for over 20 years because I tried to, I tried to explain to her what had happened to me growing up and her son was a pimp and everything else. She was like, oh, well, we can't have you telling the family shit. So can you believe after all this, she wouldn't tell her where I was and who I was? And that's why I know I will never, I will, do not break no contact with these people. They're monsters. Why would I go back for more of that? Peace out, YouTube. We got the meat. We got the meat. What we got, Len? We got the meats. Beef chuck eye steak. Yeah! Mmm.